Uh, Coach, if you would, we're going to start with a quick statement, and then we'll open up for questions. I'm excited to be here in Corvallis, obviously, in the tournament. Um, excited for our team. This is one of our goals for this year and ready to get out and practice and just get going so we can um, face a really tough Nebraska team tomorrow. We're going to have our hands full. They shoot it. They have great post presence. Um, really, really good team and have a great you know, body of work and just excited to, to get out there and perform tomorrow. Okay, again, we'll open up the questions. Please make sure you're using the mic and uh, state your name and affiliation before you ask a question. Steve Miller, Adam Sports Network. Joni, India Rogers played uh, nearby at uh, Oregon for a couple of years. What's been her reaction to uh, being selected to play here in, in Corvallis? Well, I think, number one, Indy is really grateful to be back playing. She understands the impact she has on our team. And she worked extremely hard to get herself back on the court. So excited for her to be able to play. And then to make the tournament and then find out we're coming to Corvallis, I think she's got a ton of fans who are coming to support her. Um, it's a gym she's familiar in. And I'm just excited for her to go out and play again. Uh, Brent Wagner from the Lincoln Journal Star. What, uh, what's unique or uh, a challenge about playing Nebraska, that matchup? Well, I mean, they put five scorers on the floor. You look at their starters, and four out of five make the all-tournament team in some way, whether it's freshman of the year, first team, all-freshman team. It's extremely talented. They play with great pace. Um, and then they can also slow you down, pound it inside. Um, they just have weapons all over the floor, and it makes it hard to double because they can hit you from three. Um, JC does a really good job of, of scoring off the bounce. She's a three-level scorer, so they just stretch you defensively. And then um, offensively, they make it really hard as well. They, in my opinion, from the film that I've watched, they're as good defensively you know, as they are offensively, and I don't think they get enough credit for how good they are defensively. Collins, Texas A&M Athletics. Um, Y'all had one of the better reactions on Sunday uh, for the selection show. Uh, how do you move forward emotionally to get ready for um, the biggest game of the season? Right. Well, I, I was really excited about their reaction because I have been in that room a ton of times where when you know you're going, it's like, okay, we're in. What's next? And so to capture how they felt, how we all felt, was a really, really special thing. And we wanted them to have that moment. That's what Sunday was for. We also had Monday off. And so when we got to work on Tuesday, we were locked in and ready to go, which is something this team has done all year long. Um, we try really hard to be neutral and not ride the wave of being too high or being too low. We've had some really high moments this year. We've had some really low moments this year. And we've remained pretty neutral throughout it all. And so I think this was par for course in terms of how we responded. Uh, year two, obviously, last year won nine games and now at 19. Uh, how does it feel to kind of feel validated um, in being in March Madness in year two? Well, I think for us, it's, it's our own internal validation of we're taking the right steps. This is where we wanted to be in year two to get Texas A&M women's basketball back into the tournament. Um, it was one of our key goals for the year, and we did that. So I think for, as a staff, as a program, all it does for us is confirm that we're moving in the right direction. Are we where we want to be? Absolutely not. But are we moving? In the right direction, sure. In terms of outside validation, we really try hard to drown out the noise and not worry about what other people think, say, or feel, because if they're not in our program every day, they have no bearing on, on what goes on. Any more questions? Steve Miller, a Sports Network. Joni, with uh, Indy Rogers had her injury late in the season, um, how is your team different when she is healthy? You know, I'm going to quote Buzz Williams here. Um, he, he texted me after the Mississippi State game in the SEC tournament, obviously saying congratulations, happy birthday, all the things. But I had been saying it, but not in the way he said it. And what he said to me was, with India back on the floor, it looks like everybody can sit back in their normal seat at the table. And I think that's what she does for us. Every, there's a calm. There's a, OK, let me put down this extra load that I was carrying and just pick up my normal bag that I, that I wear. And you can see that when she's on the floor, coming off the bench or starting, just knowing that she's available gives everybody a sense of calm, and it allows us to take our normal seats at the table. Brandon Collins, Texas A&M Athletics. Um, there was a photo taken of uh, both the men's program and the women's program before both teams left on Wednesday, um, praying um, in a circle. What does that kind of mean to you to have the um, being synchronized with your men's program? Um, I've been fortunate to be at a lot of institutions where there's been incredible men coaches for leaders and incredible staff and, and, and young men as players. I've never been a part of something as special 
um, as we're a part of now with our men's program at Texas A&M, and then that comes from the top down, that starts with Buzz. His young men are who they are because of him and how he leads them and directs them. Um, there's um, cohesion, there's chemistry there, there's friendship. Um, our um, director of athletics culture came to me the day before and said, hey, both teams are practicing. Can we pray before we practice and leave? Absolutely. Um, and so to have that moment, it wasn't something that I thought of. It was her, Ashley McCord and Antonio McKenzie. They came together and, and, and came up with that idea. But to be able to do that and have both teams present and just be in that moment to, to thank God for where we've come, where we are, and what we're going to do and how we're going to represent not only Texas A&M, but hopefully bring him glory in everything that we do. It was really, really special. And you don't see it a lot. Okay. Anything else? Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.